hairstylist Sabrina Kauks already has a wait list, and the salon hasn't even opened yet. People are dying to come get their hair done. She's excited to get back to cutting hair, but also a bit hesitant. Just with everything that's going on and, you know, staying safe, I am four months pregnant and I want to make sure I'm, you know, staying safe for myself and for my baby. While the salon has drawn up some protocols for what reopening may look like, the official guidelines have not come in yet. No magazines, no drinks or teas that we can offer clients anymore. Um, clients have to wear masks and I have to wear a mask and gloves when I'm cutting hair. The Beauty Council of Western Canada has put together a framework, but that still needs to be reviewed by WorkSafe and the provincial health officer. The way we see reopening happening is a couple of, couple of things are going to change. Your salon won't be that fun, you know, huggy, talky place that you know it to be. There, there may be masks. There probably will be masks. There'll be less talking. But some in the industry say it's too early to expect salons to open up in a matter of weeks without approved guidelines. I can't get PPE. Nobody can tell me if uh, the, the gloves that we've ordered, which are non-medical, are even going to be adequate. Um, we don't know if we need to have face shields. We don't know if I can get plexiglass. Other industries are in the same position, waiting for protocols to be drawn up and approved. We've got an idea, but we have not yet got our instructions, our requirements from our College of Physiotherapy, but we're expecting that any day. But they've started preparing in advance for what's to come. The hand sanitizers, the two pails are, are liquid hand sanitizer, and then we've got um, masks that, are, um, that will probably be used for patients. And taking note from other provinces. We know we need physical distancing. We know we will need masks of some sort. We... It's questionable whether we'll need gloves or just hand washing. While various industries are still figuring out their reopening plan, it's sure to look and feel different. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.